Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Coming to you today with a very quick episode. I'm sure you are already aware um, the uh, Proofrock uh, TBM has completed its boring process for the Resorts World uh, Tunnel. So that's linking the, the conference centre there. Uh, not far from where the existing station is. Um, at the conference centre, the, the, the kind of um, end terminal, um, linking that to Resorts World. So that tunnel has been completed. That project did start quite a while back uh, last year. I believe it started in Q2 of last year. Um, so I thought we'd talk about that today uh, and explain exactly um, my thoughts on the, uh, the project so far, which quite frankly, are not um, not great. It's okay, but it's not great. And in life, you need to be seeking uh, perfection. So let's have a look at our number one, or our number two news source for the Boeing Company. Obviously, I'm number one, but uh, uh, Tesla RT always do articles on the Boeing Company. Um, so that's good to see. Basic information, um, as you can see, uh, this is a project, part of another project. There is another project that's going to start fairly soon at, at the, uh, the the Win uh, Encore Casino. Um, similar starting point as well. Um, so so yeah, so so that's a good piece of news. Um, in terms of what the Boring Company is actually saying, uh, they've been fairly busy on Twitter recently, which is a good thing. Uh, it's nice to see them actually. So they actually refer to Proof Rock One here. Which is what I want to see because hopefully Proof Rock One uh, goes into retirement and we see Proof Rock Two and then Proof Rock Three and we make improvements here. Um, so they do mention this 190 meter turn radius, which might seem like quite a lot, but uh, for for TBM um, making that kind of turn, it. It is not uh, as easy as it might sound and, and that's essentially what has caused the issues with the conveyor belt system on this particular project um, and as you can see we have a video here I'll show you that video in, in a short while um, Elon Musk has been fairly busy as well talking about the boring company it's interesting to see that he's been quite quiet for a good nine months or so and then suddenly he's, he's kind of picked it up and he started talking about it he talked about it on the the earnings call and then he was talking about it on twitter at least three or four occasions where people have uh, have talked about traffic or, or issues with transport and he has mentioned tunnels and and that kind of is is a good thing I, i'm actually quite excited to hear that because that indicates to me that his excitement re with regards to using tunnels to resolve congestion issues and improve um uh, the throughput of the existing uh, kind of road network um, is high. He, he he wants that to happen. So so that's good. Uh, the kind of two most important tweets um, are these two here. So so first of all, let's watch the breakthrough of the actual TBM here at Resorts World. Um, one of the good things about this particular project is they have done a lot of work at the Resorts World side. So it's just a case of plumbing it in. Uh, constructing the road deck, um, sourcing the vehicles, um, and then th there is a, a kind of a ancillary uh, station at the other end. Again, it'll, it'll be a very kind of similar thing to what's at the, the conference centre. So it'll be a, like an open uh, station, um, maybe some barriers around the outside to stop people walking across, um, and, it, and it'll just have various parking bays. Off the top of my head, I believe there are maybe eight bays maybe nine um so so they're not going to be running that many vehicles through this system but it, that's not the case it, it, it's meant to be an express route from that hotel to the conference center and it's an, an additional selling point for that hotel hence why the the encore wants access as well so here's the video it's going to play there we go <laughs> <laughs> I 
Don't get me wrong, I'm excited to see that. I just would have liked to have seen this happen in September. That's how I feel. Maybe uh, I'm being a bit harsh on the Boeing Company, but it, it, it's, it's, it's not my job on this channel uh, to tell you everything's amazing all the time. It, it's also my job occasionally to say, hey, we need to make improvements. This machine here is not ready for the big leagues, I'm sorry to say. It, it is way off. Prufrock 1 needs to be written off. The whole team need to reflect on what went well with this project and what went wrong. Because it, there's equal parts of both. And they need to take a blank sheet of paper and essentially you know, work out what they need to do to make Proof Rock 2 a lot more efficient, a lot more reliable and increase its kind of uh, uh, meterage per day because we should be getting close to 100 meters per day uh, at some point in the next couple of years. And, and this, this machine does not have the, um, the systems in place to remove spoil quick enough and to uh, assemble precast concrete segments quick enough. So those two kind of processes, together with you know maintaining a reliable machine, need to be worked on. That's that's my thoughts. I think they can do it. I think that there's more focus on the Boeing Company now. I think um, Steve Davis needs to think about bringing some more people in uh, that have some you know specific skills in relation to TBMs. Um, and he needs to really have a good think about how he can improve the various processes of a TBM tunnel boring machine. Um, here's a tweet from Elon Musk. Uh, so the Boeing company tweeted this saying, subtly popping up at the front door. <laughs> you know, better, better late than never. Uh, it's good to see it. Um, and then Elon Musk says, the Boeing company just connected Resorts World Hotel to the Bay's Convention Center as usual. There's a few people tweeting. Uh, someone says, is Proof Rock making good progress on catching the, uh, catching Gary? Uh, so far, Gary is is lapping uh, Proof Rock, so there's a little bit of work to, to, to do there. But um, I, I, I think, certainly on reflecting on my own life, I, I, I think that um, making mistakes and having things go wrong are a good thing because you learn tons and tons of things from things like that not working how you anticipate them to work and then the learnings that you then apply next time uh, kind of compound your desire to, to make things go well. So a lot of things to improve, there are a lot of things they did well on this project um, but they, they, need, they need to focus on the processes, that's, that's the key kind of thing that I would say. Um, okay so um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I will do a breakdown of the Resorts World project once it's finished, but they still have to install the concrete road deck or that they might use uh, asphalt, which, you know, is another decision that I don't like. But hey, it works and it is not a major thing, but uh, they still need to install the road deck. They need to obviously uh, connect up the, the, the two stations at either end uh, and, and build the station. Um, at the conference center side, uh, the, the, the part of the Resorts World side is already finished. The signs are already up, you know, the, 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 the loading and unloading bays are ready. So that, that's good to know. Okay, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please like the video if you've not already done so. That really helps the channel. Also, if you are not uh, a regular here, please subscribe to the video. Please hit that bell icon. It really does help me grow this channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you all will come back for another episode. Remember, don't be boring. See you on the next one. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Goodbye. You will test a god.